4.8. Part 2. The girl looked out the window dreamily. Mr. Hartley, she said slowly, I don't know what to say to you. I understand all the advantages of your offer, and sometimes I feel sure that I could be happy with you. But then sometimes I am less sure. I was born a city girl, and I am not sure that I would enjoy living a quiet life in the suburbs. My dear girl, said Hartley, you will have everything that you want. You can come to the city for the theater, for shopping, and to visit your friends as often as you want. You can trust me, can't you? I can trust you completely, she said, smiling at him. I know you are the kindest of men, and that the girl who you get will be very lucky. I heard all about you when I was at the Montgomery's. Ah, exclaimed Hartley. I remember so well the evening I first saw you at the Montgomery's. I will never forget that dinner. Come on, Vivian, promise me. I want you. Nobody else will ever give you such a happy home. Vivian didn't answer. Suddenly Hartley was suspicious. Tell me, Vivian, he asked. Is there... is there someone else? You shouldn't ask that, Mr. Hartley she said. But I will tell you. There is one other person, but I haven't promised him anything. Vivian, said Hartley, masterfully. You must be mine. Vivian looked him in the eye. Do you think for one moment, she said calmly, that I could come to your home while Eloise is there? <laughs>